The chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee, Congressman Benny Thompson, and 13 of his fellow congressmen are now trying to block the construction of that fence along our border with Mexico. Chairman Thompson and his congressional colleagues are arguing the Department of Homeland Security is breaking the law by building a fence to stop illegal aliens and drug smugglers from entering this country. That's right, he's the chairman of Homeland Security. Casey Wyan has our report. The Homeland Security Department is waiving more than two dozen environmental and other laws to speed up fence construction on the southern border. A Republican-controlled Congress granted that authority in 2005. Now, 14 members of the current Democratic majority, including Homeland Security Committee Chairman Benny Thompson, are joining environmental groups and asking the Supreme Court to force Homeland Security to obey the laws. There's not going to be any fence big enough that they can't go over it or deep enough that they can't go under it or long enough that they can't go around it. So why destroy all our environment for something that's really of marginal value? Some of the laws were passed by Congress as far back as the 1800s. What Congress has given, Congress has taken away in this case, the fence is a national security priority. It must be built. Other Democrats are also fighting the fence. At a Senate hearing last week, Ted Kennedy claimed fence construction waivers, not drug and alien smugglers, promote lawlessness. These new waivers create sweeping zones of uh, effectively lawlessness along the entire U.S.-Mexico border. We are currently in a lawless situation at the border because we have... Uh, not just human smuggling, but drug smuggling and violence occurring there. I had to go visit with the family of a Border Patrol agent who was killed uh, a couple months ago because a smuggler ran him over with a, with a Jeep. And that vehicle wouldn't have been there if we had a vehicle barrier in place. So I feel an urgency to get this uh, tactical infrastructure in. The department says it's roughly halfway to its goal of building 670 miles of fencing by year's end. Congressman Filner says the legal waivers could allow the Department of Homeland Security to build the fence with lax worker safety standards and even with illegal alien labor. Even though his district in San Diego includes a fence that has dramatically reduced illegal crossings, he remains opposed to extending it elsewhere. Lou? What, the, what, what is wrong with Filner? I mean, he's out of his cotton-picking mind. Well, he says that the, the fence works in urban areas near San Diego, and it works there because they've added so many more Border Patrol agents in that area. He says uh, that it's not going to work as well in more remote areas, but it's clear that the real issue here for the members of Congress is po politics. They want to stop this fence at all costs. Luke. Sure they do, and they're, and they're doing so because they're uh, basically supporting a, a illegal immigration, amnesty, open borders. Uh, and every parent, in my opinion, Every parent of children in this country, every grandparent, should be writing to Benny Thompson, the chairman of Homeland Security, and telling him exactly what they think. And reminding him, and Filner as well, and every one of those other people, and let's put them up on Lou Dobbs tonight, make sure everybody's got a list of these people, and remind them that that border, that Mexico is still the primary source of methamphetamines entering this country, marijuana, cocaine, and heroin. And if they want to be responsible for the deaths and the shattering of the lives of millions of young Americans, if they want to continue that, then they should keep playing politics with border security and with the lives of young Americans. It won't solve the war on drugs. It won't win it. But it's part of the solution. And it's one that we've got to quit ignoring in this country. Casey, thank Absolutely, you. Absolutely, Lou. Thank you very much, Casey Wine. Congressman Benny Thompson, the chairman of Homeland Security, uh, is uh, scheduled to be our guest here tomorrow. Time now for our poll. Are you outraged that the chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee is working to stop the construction, the construction of that border fence? We'd like to hear from you. Yes or no? Cast your vote at LouDobbs.com. We'll have the results here later. The federal government says it's reached the limit of H-1B visa applications that it will accept for next year's program. The U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service won't say how many applications it received, but the number could be as high, we're told, as 400,000. The official limit, 65,000 H-1B visas. And by the way, seven of the top ten uh, destinations for those H-1B visas, not American firms looking for talent, but Indian companies in the United States seeking to bring in cheap labor, primarily from India, so that they can continue to outsource from American companies those middle-class jobs. Well, last week, the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services began accepting applications from companies to bring in even more cheap foreign labor. 
The United States already has, by the way. Now, you remember, we've listened to this president parade around the country asking for a guest worker program. Well, the United States already has 10 guest worker programs, just in case the White House is watching. Still ahead here, I'll tell you what veteran administration workers are doing with some of your tax dollars.